Hey, welcome back. This is Mike with another video, part two of this F-250. In part one, we did the interior. Part two, we're doing the exterior with the wash. Check out my mitts and see which one I want to use here. For the bottom part of the carriage, I'll use the blue one. And I'm going to use this Rags Company one. Pretty soak them in my bucket. And it's time to get it on. Okay, I'm going around for my detail brush, getting into my nook, little nooks and crannies, get all the spots where I know my wash mitt when I get. Since this truck is almost two feet taller than I am, I do have a microfiber pole that I use to get to the top of the truck and the windows, which is very helpful when the truck is so tall. You know, doing grills is like one of my favorite things because you see a lot of bugs that don't have the guts to get in front of their vehicle again. But man, when you just clean, 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 it does come out really, really nice.
I do on wheels these size. Normally, I would like to take them off, but they, you know, they were a little dirty, but they're pretty manageable to get. I do start with my detail brush and and work around with it, and then get to my wheel wooly, and then my tire brush. It is a little time consuming, but they do come out really, really good though. All right, my next process is starting the decontaminated part of the truck. I'm going with an iron remover across the whole truck. Get all the uh, road grime and stuff that I, you know you can't see before I get the clay bar out.
All right, I've tried the whole truck off. I am going to work on all the chrome parts of the front bumper, getting all nice and shiny. I'm kind of basically waiting for the whole truck to be completely dry so I can start the uh, waxing and polishing stage.
All right, so I'm using the scratch and swirl remover to get rid of all the swirls and tiny kind of scratches, basically just getting it pretty shiny for now. And I, in that gray bottle right there sitting on that toolbox is an ibuprofen alcohol that I use to clean in between uh, the compound part and the polished part to make sure I, my surfaces do stay pretty clean. White light, man, that's some good stuff from Chemical Guys. White light I use on the truck as my polish just before I do, I did do ceramic coating on this truck also, which I didn't have time to uh, to fit in the video because Super Bowl's coming on here pretty soon. So I did get it done on the lower half of the truck, which did, did come out phenomenal. As you will soon hear, uh, see that uh, in the next part of the clip that the truck came out pretty damn good.